local organization that fights for people's rights and helps them find jobs was broken into this week. Thieves stole all of the Justice Resource Center's computers. WLKY's Erica Coghill joins us live at police headquarters with the details on this. Erica? Rick, police have made no arrest in the case, and they have no suspects at this point. Now, right now, the the, the Justice Resource Center is trying to figure out how to get back on its feet after uh, becoming victim to this crime, and it's asking for your help. This room, once filled with computers, now is empty and cold as winter air makes its way in through a shattered window. They clean this out, basically. All eight donated computers and a fax machine gone. And right here is again where they, uh, with our air conditioning unit in this window here, and just took it out. It was a busy week for volunteers of the Justice Resource Center. They were working away from the office until Friday morning when the assistant director got a chance to pop in. Uh oh, something has happened. Thieves had broken in, stealing the very tools that helped this community organization operate. We train people on the computers, and also we uh, let them look for jobs on the computer. The Justice Resource Center on West Oak Street survives on donations. It helps fight for rights and find people jobs. We're in this community to help this community. That's the most disheartening thing about it. And for somebody to uh, come in here and do that, that's, that's very disheartening. It's not the first time this place has been broken into. About a year ago, nearly 10 computers were stolen. New ones were donated, and this window was boarded up. So they couldn't break in here. The last time they came in, they knocked the lock off that window and came on through without breaking that glass. But this time, they just broke the window out. Slid through this narrow opening, stealing what pieces of technology would fit. One thing we can do now is try to Hope and pray that we can get some more donations. Now, if you'd like to donate a money, uh, money or a computer to the Justice Resource Center, you can do so by checking out our website, WLKY.com, for the details on how to do that. Also, reporting live tonight, Erica Coghill, 